God thundereth marvelously with his voice. Great things doeth he, which we cannot comprehend. For he saith to the snow, Be thou on the earth. Likewise to the small rain, and to the great rain of his strength. Out of the south cometh the whirlwind, and cold out of the north. By the breath of God, frost is given. And the breadth of the waters is straight. Also, by watering, he wearieth the thick cloud. He scattereth his bright cloud, and it is turned round about by his counsel, that they may do whatsoever he commandeth them upon the face of the world and the earth. He causeth it to come, whether for correction, or for his land, or for mercy. Stand still and consider the wondrous works of God. Dost thou know when God disposed them and caused the light of his cloud to shine? Dost thou know the balancings of the clouds, the wondrous works of him which is perfect in knowledge? He sendeth forth his commandment upon earth. His word runneth very swiftly. He giveth snow like wool. He scattereth the hoarfrost like ashes. He casteth forth his ice like morsels. Who can stand before his cold? He sendeth out his word and melteth them. Causeth his wind to blow, and the waters flow. Hast thou entered into the treasures of the snow? Or hast thou seen the treasures of the hail, which I have reserved against the time of trouble, against the day of battle and war? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is, the word of faith, which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved.